Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. Actually, I don't even know if it's morning anymore. It's one o'clock. What am I thinking? It's 1257. Good afternoon, guys. I started my Monday off in a way that I don't think I've ever done before. I took an actual bath and soaked off all of my self tan, exfoliated my body, like completely prepped it. And then um, I made myself breakfast and I really wish I would have shared it with you guys, but I was on the phone with one of my friends from my hometown while I was making breakfast and eating breakfast. Um, so I couldn't show you because I was using my phone to call in. This is what I vlog with. Um, and it was just two hash browns in the air fryer and then two runny, like sunny side eggs on top. It was so good and so simple. I saw someone on TikTok do it and it's gonna be probably my breakfast for the week because I'm always trying to switch it up. So excited about that. And guys, I haven't talked about this on my vlog and I'm not sure why, maybe because I was like so stressed about it, like with my dogs, but Steve and I have a two week vacation this month. Um, we're going to Ontario to my hometown uh, to see all of our friends and family. We're leaving on like the 14th. So it's Saturday, the 14th of May, we're gonna start driving. So that's what I've been so stressed about. We're driving and not only is it Steve and I driving, we're bringing the two dogs. And you guys know how much Harvey hates the vehicle. Um, I know that I'm like overthinking it because the vet said it's normal. You can, we can totally give you something to help him with anxiety during driving. So it's probably gonna be fine. Um, maybe just the first couple hours he'll be like annoying and then he'll just be like, well, I can't get out of the car so I might as well just sleep and relax. Um, so we're driving together, but then Steven is driving a company vehicle back and I'm driving by myself back. So I do have some like, I'm a bit nervous because it is a long drive to go from Alberta to Ontario, Canada. Like that is a really long drive. It's like, if you take breaks, it takes like four days, but we're gonna hopefully, on the way there, we're probably not gonna make stops because Steve and I will just switch off driving and do the road trip that way. But on the way back, I'm probably gonna get some hotels because it's gonna be me alone in a vehicle and Steven alone. Um, so we can't switch off obviously. So we're gonna have to stop. Stop it. But um, yeah, it's pretty exciting though. My friends and family are so excited to see me and I'm really excited to go down. Like everybody's just excited for this. Um, and it's been a year since I've seen them. So really excited. But on to different things. I am leaving Harvey in the crate for most of the day today because no matter how much I try to keep him calm, Winston is healing really well. Like I don't even have the cone on him. Like Winston is literally like healed up down there. The vet said he looked amazing, but Harvey is red and swollen and I'm just so concerned. I don't know why he's not healing. He's had the cone on the entire time. He doesn't lick it. And I don't know. I don't know if like something just went weird, different during her, his surgery. Like, I don't know, but I'm kind of concerned. So um, he's gonna be in the crate just so he doesn't run around for most of the day. I'm just gonna try to like sit next to the crate with him and like hopefully he won't just whine the whole time. Um, I did get the chef's plate. I was telling you guys, chef's plate um, food subscription. So I'm gonna show you guys what meals we got. So I've got meals for, I think I picked four or five. I can't remember if I've got meals Monday through Thursday or Monday through Friday. Let's see. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So excited. Uh, I just love the way that they like package this all the time. It's always like, it just feels so great when you get a box like this, all the recipe cards. All right, so we got pan seared chicken with, what does it say? Creamy coleslaw and potato wedges. That's one meal, put that in here. Second one is sweet and spicy Japanese style pork rice bowls with pickled carrots and stir fried bok choy. That looks so good. And I did select these, like Steve and I selected these ourselves. Hey, stop it. And then we got this one. This is a, um, is it vegan or vegetarian? I can't remember, vegetarian. So it doesn't have any meat in it. Chili lentils burrito bowl, yum. And then we've got another, um, it's kind of like a bowl, but it's called skillet chorizo and rice fiesta skillet. And then this one is Easy Beef Unstuffed Peppers. Looks so good. So a lot of these are like kind of bowls, but I like making meals that are like in a bowl that I can just like eat out of a bowl, I guess. Just like one simple thing. Um, so yeah, it just basically comes in the bags that separates off the veggies. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one like this. I can go through it. So all the veggies and seasoning and anything like that comes in the bags like this. And then they have the name of what the like meal is you can match it up with the card and then i'll show you guys how the um protein comes so then there is this insulated um thing like an insulated bag like this and whenever you like open it so it's got ice blocks in it so i'm gonna take this out um also here's a whole garlic clove in here 
there is like blocks of ice like this. They're still fully frozen. And then we have the like dairy, the cheese, the chicken breasts, the ground beef, the chorizo pork, the lean ground pork, and we also have coleslaw in the cold section, and then three pouches of sour cream also in the cold section. And that's basically how it comes packaged. Everything is always so fresh and nothing has gone bad um, because they use a local like fresh delivery service that packs it for you like the day of, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's my little unboxing. Um, and now I'm gonna just go hang out with my dogs. Little poor baby just has to be in there all day. I'm sorry, but it's for your own good, okay? I know, it's not fair. All right, I'm making myself like full on like good for you kind of lunch with salmon, some veggies and some rice. I bought this nice piece of salmon. I'm gonna cut it into two portions so I can have it today and tomorrow for lunch. Hey, stop it. I saw this girl on TikTok. I feel like the amount of times I say I saw this girl on TikTok and then I do that is just toxic. But at this point, that's a lifestyle. That's my lifestyle. I get all my recipe ideas off TikTok. She put Dijon mustard and Old Bay seasoning, which I don't have, but I have regular seasoning. So I'm going to put that and she puts it in the air fryer and it's crispy. And I'm so excited to try it. So yeah, I'll show you guys when it's done. All right, this is my lunch. This salmon came out so nice and crispy and then sticky rice and some roasted veggies. I already ate some of them because I was waiting for the food to be done. I'm so excited to eat this. I let him out of the crate and now he's laying on the vent. At least he's still being chill. That's what we need. All right, so it is close to dinner right now and I have had period cramps all day and I'm not a fan of taking Advil or like really any drugs. Um, so I opt for red wine because it works really well. I have been using red wine for my period cramps probably since I was like, like, I don't know, 19. Um, so like seven years. Um, it's always worked really, really well for me. And obviously too much wine is bad for your liver, but so are is Advil. So I'm gonna pick the more fun option. Obviously um, red wine. So I'm just gonna pop this open. I love this wine. It is so good. This is Snoop Dogg's wine and I've kind of been hooked on it. And guys, I'm wearing a tinted lip gloss. So it's kind of weird, but I couldn't find my chapstick and my lips were dry. So I opted for my plumping lip gloss. And now I look like a crazy person because you can tell I have something on my lips. But it's okay. Okay. Cork is out. It smells so good. I just love the smell of red wine. So this is the um, just Cali red wine. And then I've got a stemless wine glass. These ones are engraved, or not engraved, but they're like um, custom wine glass from Steve and I's wedding from 2018. We got them as a gift and I still use them every once in a while. So. More, more, more. There you go. I think that's like probably eight ounces or something. Mm. My, my Monday is complete after drinking this. So yummy. Made the first meal from Chef's Play. This is the Chorizo Fiesta um, skillet and we're watching New Girl. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. Don't mind my dogs, they are playing. I'm letting them have some play time even though Harvey still needs to minimize his exercise. Um, I'm just sitting here. I just took a shower and washed off my fake tan from uh, last night. I used the Cocoa and Eve one, guys, and I am so impressed. The application was really good. It's the best smelling tanner I've ever used from all of them that I've had in the past. And the application mitt was so much better than my other ones. Like, it took me like five minutes to put this on. No, not five, I'm gonna say 15 minutes to apply it on my entire body. Like it was so easy to use and it has this olivey undertone so it doesn't at all look orange. It pulls a little bit green to cancel out that orange. I'm telling you guys, very impressed with this tanner. So I will have it linked for you guys so you can shop that. Um, and now I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast and this time I'm not on the phone so I can actually show you guys what my current breakfast is. Cause it's just, yeah, it's new and it's exciting and it's super yummy. So I'm gonna go and make myself some food. All right, introducing this week's breakfast. Guys, look at this. Like, so good. I, I think I'm just like going to want to eat this for weeks now. And then I also have some orange juice. Look at how gorgeously tan my legs are. I just love how even and summery it is. 
All right, I just finished filming my outfit reel of the day. I'm planning on filming at least two more reels today. Um, that's kind of like my main focus is just to get that content done and then also clean my film room. You guys are going to recognize this top from this week's Shein video. I am obsessed. It's like writing up, but it is like so cute as this course of detail. But you guys are already have seen that by the time you see this. But yeah, that's kind of what's going. I'm feeling pretty creative. So I am always really grateful on days that I'm feeling creative because that just means I'm going to create good content and genuinely be myself. So yeah, it's it's a good day so far. All right, so I'm just on my way to um, the gym right now. I just have a consult with like a personal trainer um, that's supposed to help me strengthen my back because I don't know what to do. Apparently you guys are saying I'm not supposed to go on the treadmill um, at all when it comes to my back. Um, so I'm going to try to avoid that, but I'm trying to get some like professional advice on how to properly strengthen my back. Um, so the girl that I always talk to at the gym, she recommended that I meet with one of their um, personal trainers to see what advice or like what they could do to help me. So I don't know. I'm kind of like, I feel like my mindset is not convinced or like not motivated to do this, but it doesn't matter because I have to push myself even though I'm not motivated like I'm not a gym person I don't enjoy working out like in any way um but I told myself that this year I was going to try to get back into some sort of like I don't know at least stay active like I just think moving your body it, that's just all what it's about for me and strengthening my body like I hate having back pain so I guess we'll see how it's gonna go I should just try to stay hopeful and not have like a negative mindset about it um, because it's just a consult. I'm just sitting down and chatting with them. So yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes Hi, how's it going Good, how are you? Okay, okay. Can I get a grande um, vanilla ice latte? Uh, and can I get that in a venti cup with extra ice? Sure. And if you could also add the sweet cream cold foam the vanilla to it yeah, that'd be great. Um, could I also get the Caprizi sandwich? Uh, let me just make sure it's still hot. Okay. Okay. That's just one of those Capri sandwiches. Yes, heat it up would be great. That's everything. Thank you. Just getting my basic white girl lunch i am obsessed with their like food here too so that's i'm decided to get starbucks before i go to my meeting i don't know if i'm just crazy but this thing just looks like it's like cream hopefully that's just a latte and it's not just sweet cream cold foam honestly guys <clears throat> she was so sweet like the trainer was so sweet I'm just like really out of my comfort zone here, like not comfortable. Um, like, I don't know, I think the two of us would get along like really well. Like she kind of talked about like what my goals were for strengthening and things like that. Um, and I just kind of like chatted with her for about like half an hour. Um, and yeah, so she kind of wants to do like our first like workout kind of like consult thing like next week. Um, and I guess we'll see how it goes. But I think what's terrifying for me is the fact that like working with, if I was to work with a trainer, um, like obviously, I don't know why I have this fear, but they know exactly what they're doing and they'd be like, hey, I need you to do this um, or like this many reps. And I would literally be like, yo, like I cannot go anymore. Like I cannot do this. Um, I can't do all these lunges. I can't do all these squats because I'm like, that takes like something to build up. And I'm sure that they would know how to handle that. I just don't know why I think that they wouldn't. But clearly, I am not the first person to walk into a gym being like, I'm out of shape. That's why people go to the gym. So I think it's like an irrational fear at this point and I need to get over it. Um, but yeah, it kind of, it went well though. It was not, it was not a bad meeting. We laughed a lot. She really got me. We got along really well. Um, so if I'm going to work with one, it's probably going to be her. All right. So I filmed three more reels, which I feel so good about. I've been spending so much time upstairs in my like room, uh, in my like film studio area. And, um, I'm getting really bad cramps because obviously my period is either supposed to start like in the next few days. 
So it is wine o'clock because it is about 4.30 right now. So seems about right. <laughs> mm. Yes. Um, and then basically I just got to figure out which meal I'm going to make for um, dinner out of the ones we have from Chef Plate. And then guys, I also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I also have my, another hair appointment um, on Thursday. I have a hair appointment on Thursday because I'm just going to like tone these blonde pieces because this is the the natural color of the extension. And I'm going to make it into like the, like barely highlights, like the caramelly color that I sort of have in my hair. And then I'm also going to cut them a little bit closer to my natural length because I'm not liking them right now. It's not me. So um, and then tomorrow, a friend of mine invited me to go to the super cute cafe and I'm hoping I can make it work. It's kind of last minute and I've got some things to do. Um, and my work day isn't even close to being done. I still have to edit my entire Shein video for this week so that it can go up tomorrow and upload and everything. So I don't know, I think I might just do that tonight um, or maybe do some of the editing now and then make dinner and then do the rest after. But yeah, for right now, I'm gonna take a break, drink some wine. I'm gonna sit on the couch because I'm like sweating. It's so hot upstairs because the sun is coming in and I have a huge window. So that room is always really hot, which is not an ideal temperature for like a film room, but I kind of got to work with it. You silly little goose, always laying on your back. You look so silly. I put a blanket over Harvey's crate. We got a third one for traveling that he's in right now so that way he'll sleep. Little baby. I'm just sitting down and editing my Shein video right now. I'm so excited for you guys to see this tomorrow. This is what we're having for dinner. It's like a dill um, type of coleslaw with some breaded chicken and potato wedges and then some kind of aioli that I made. Just at the vet right now. The boys are having their checkup. So I'm just putting an order together on Fashion Nova right now and I have these shorts in my cart. So I decided to click on them and actually look to see if I should size up or not. Thank goodness I did, because that's what they look like from the back. And I would have just placed the order like I normally do. <laughs> and you guys <laughs> would have got a little bit of a treat. I mean, I wouldn't have turned around, but like, this is so funny. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, I just uploaded my Shein video this morning, which is awesome. It is such a good spring summer haul. I'm so excited to hear what you guys think. Um, I just took a shower, put on full skincare, like exfoliated and everything. And then I realized the tanner that I put on is not very dark. Like it kind of is already wearing off and I only put it on like, I only washed it off yesterday, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Regardless of the day before. I put it on Monday. Yeah. So it technically has only been on since I washed it off Tuesday morning. So that's yesterday. And it's already feel like it's kind of light. So I don't think it's my favorite. Like I loved the application and I loved the smell of it and a bunch of different things that were like total pros. Um, maybe if I put like two coats of it, but that's kind of annoying that I feel like it's not as dark as I wanted it, but that's okay. We still got a little bit of a sun-kissed glow. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself breakfast and then I gotta get ready for the day um, because I do have a coffee date with a friend of mine that's coming into town. And it's at this super cute floral cafe that has blown up in Edmonton and I never went. It's called Brew and Bloom. I have seen so many photos, it is so cute. So I think I kind of want to look like cute today um, and maybe get an Instagram picture because I've always wanted to check that place out. So yeah, I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast. Good morning, Winston. Happy birthday to you. That's my big birthday boy. Yeah, that's what it is. He's a big birthday boy. So cute. I'm having the same breakfast as yesterday, but today I'm also having coffee and a blueberry muffin. All right, just sitting down to do my makeup. And guys, I got a super, super exciting package in that I'm going to unbox with you guys right now because it's makeup products that I bought myself um, from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have not tried a single Charlotte Tilbury product. I am so late to this, but everything was sold out at Sephora for so long. So I went onto the Charlotte Tilbury website and purchased the two things that I've been eyeing. And here we go, are you guys ready? That's the packaging. I got the Hollywood Flawless Filter and Pillow Talk Multi Glow. And then it came with two samples. There's a gorgeous a Miss Charlotte. She honestly, oh my goodness, it literally says my name on it. Darling Susie. I love how they personalize their cards for all the customers. That's cool. All right, guys, two products. This packaging is stunning, though. Like, 
that's the nice thing about whenever you buy something off of a website like Dior or Charlotte Tilbury or whatever it may be. Um, it just, you know what I mean? Like you get that nice packaging. So I got, this is the product that everybody, literally everybody owns. Um, it is so hyped up that I have a very high expectation. I got the shade four in it. Looks like this. Oh my goodness, my dogs. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try this. And then I also got the uh, multi-globe pillow talk. So this just got released and it hasn't even come to my local Sephora yet. Um, they haven't even received the product. So I'm like, oh, since I'm placing an order for one thing anyway, I might as well grab this too. Harvey, you can't keep going outside. And I heard the packaging is amazing. Look at that, guys. And I've kind of been like not really wearing highlighter recently and I kind of want to get back into it. So this is a highlighter. Look at that. It is stunning. My goodness, this is so beautiful. Like I actually, I actually cannot. That is, wow. Very, very impressive. Very high quality. And then they did send me two samples, which I'm going to use to prep my skin. So I can give you guys a real um, review of um, how I feel about this. So they sent me the primer. Um, I'm just going to pull the tab off of this like that and then squeeze some out. I think I'll be able to do that. Come on. Oh, I don't think I tore it properly. Let's try it from this side and see if we can... Okay, I definitely think I would have opened it now. I'm just gonna squeeze some of this out. Okay, why isn't it coming out? I know I pierced it because it's like I can see a small amount of the product, but I'm scared it's gonna squirt out. Okay, got like a tiny amount. Okay, I need some of this to actually come out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, this is a train wreck. So much, okay. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna have you guys sit here and watch me do this. All right, so we got the primer. Feels amazing, kind of feels like a really good moisturizer. Wow, wow, that's really good. And it already makes your skin glowy. So it'll probably go really well with the flawless filter. Even though now I won't be able to see how glowy the flawless filter is on its own because I already have a glowy base on, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll still get a proper review. Stop growling at each other. All right, and now let's try this. I'm so excited. Okay. A lot of people are using this as foundation um, instead of like a base. So I'm going to see the amount of coverage this gives. You have to dip into it like a lot of times the applicator doesn't pick up a lot i was always wondering why i saw people go into their thing so many times i'm like wow isn't that a lot of product but now i get it now i get it all right i think i did i think i matched the shade pretty well and i'm going to use this clean um makeup brush i didn't want to have anything on it so i cleaned it it's still sort of like wet i hope that's gonna be fine stop growling each other yeah sometimes they just do that I didn't want any like foundation on it so that way that I didn't want it to give me any coverage from what was left over so okay it's definitely pretty and glowy it doesn't really give much coverage though which I was just planning on using it guys I know that's super annoying but Every morning they kind of do that until one of them jumps at the other one and they kind of get over it and then they just walk around. It is so strange, but okay, let's just talk about how amazing and healthy my skin looks right now though. Like this is healthy summer skin. Wow. I definitely get the hype because you can't really feel it's there very lightweight. I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to put foundation on. Yeah, I'm not putting foundation on. I'm using this the way some of the girlies are using it. So I'm going to finish up like my concealer, eyebrows, like my face, and then I'm going to come back and do a first impression with you guys with the highlighter. All right, I just finished up my makeup, really quick makeup, just really glowy. It's crazy how I'm not wearing any foundation. I think I would prefer that stuff um, under foundation. Man, you just barge right into wherever you want. Um, but now for the fun part, guys. I am so excited to try this. I don't even want to ruin it because it's just so pretty. 
Okay, I have my two highlighter brushes here. I'm gonna go in with this one first and I'm just gonna, Harvey, can you please move? Please go. I'll just move you guys here so I can go more to this side. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this and kind of go from like side to side kind of thing. I'm gonna, I don't know if it's gonna pick up like a lot. I'm gonna put it on the brow. Okay, I feel like I like it because it's pulling a pinky tone, but I'll be able to notice the most on the cheekbones. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. And now for the actual reveal, I wanna put you guys in good lighting for this so that we can really get a good impression. All right. Grabbing a generous amount of product, slightly tap it off, I'm gonna. Wow, that is stunning. I love that it pulls a pink tone. Yeah. The videos I saw of girls applying it's definitely what it looked like. So the, it definitely looks the way that I expected it to. That just makes you look so glowy and summery. And you can also go in with this brush too to like be a little bit more precise with where you put the highlight. Yeah. Definitely worth it. Both these products I would say are worth the hype. Um, it's just, I'm gonna use the um, flawless filter underneath my tinted moisturizer, just get a little bit more coverage. But even just like this, like I like it. Let me know what you guys think if these are worth it. All right, I'm just on my way to the cafe right now. I'm just wearing like white top jeans, white sneakers, classic look. Um, just in case I do wanna take a photo when I'm there, I just wanted to look cute. Um, and I'm just like driving and listening to country music because you guys know country music is like my favorite thing ever. And I just discovered, and obviously like, I had heard his songs before, but I never looked into him as an artist. The artist Hardy, um, he's like, he has done a song with like Morgan Wallen and he's written a bunch of songs that are like number one hits, like for other artists. Um, and I don't know how many years he's been doing music on his own, but I, Steven showed me like his music videos the other day. I think it was like Sunday or something. And I just immediately was obsessed with like his vibe and stuff. I'm a really big fan of like alternative country music, like the kind that's like rock and country, but like in one. Um, for example, Brantley Gilbert is easily like in the top five of my favorite like artists. And now that Hardy kind of does the same thing, like he is very similar to like Brantley Gilbert. He has the same energy, it's rock and country. And I love, love that type of music. So I'm like so excited to like, I guess find an artist that I haven't gotten been excited about like a musician in a very long time um but this is I don't know something about it so I've just been like listening to his music for the past couple days and just like loving it so that's what I'm jamming to and just driving to the cafe guys look at these fancy drinks we got they got empress gin in them we all got the same one because <laughs> we needed it <laughs> and guys isn't it so cute um and then my friend that was in town she's getting married in is it next month or the month after um so she had her final fitting in the city for her wedding dress um and i came with her to her final fitting and the dress was absolutely stunning like she could not have looked more beautiful like that dress is like a dream dress it's like the dress that everybody would love so she just looked so stunning so really really happy that she invited me it was a very special thing to be invited to i thought that was neat um so that's kind of how my afternoon went a little coffee date the food there was pretty good i don't know if i i think i shared the food i'm not sure if i did if i vlogged or not but um i don't know the food wasn't great like it was good because it was just like a sandwich but it didn't have like a lot of flavor that you would expect for the prices like on their menu um like i think that they really like i needed salt it was weird it's like nothing had any like salt in it if i had salt and pepper problem solved that's just what i needed but the drink was incredible they do really cool drink menu so that's basically i guess how it went it's winston's birthday today he turned one he's getting lots of treats for his birthday 
Such a good buddies. This is our third chef's plate meal. It's unstuffed peppers and I'm just having some wine. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I have the worst period cramps, like just so bad. Where's my Advil over here? I'm taking Advil, I do not care. Um, so basically, yeah, just gonna take some Advil. I'm making myself breakfast right now, just in the air fryer, I'm waiting for it to preheat. Why am I trying to open this? Man, today's the first day of like my actual period, I guess. And it is rough, like there's so much pressure on my stomach, but that's okay, these will kick in and it'll be fine. Um, I washed my hair today, not because I needed to, but my hairdresser is cutting my extension shorter today and toning them. And she needs me to come in with clean straight hair so she can do the cut and then her assistant's gonna dye my, or like tone my extensions because she didn't really have time, but she um, is willing to fit me in. So that's kind of how we're doing it. Um, that's at 5.30 though, like it's late. Like my appointment's super late and it's a far drive. So I probably won't be home till like 7.38 if like i would think if traffic's okay like that's gonna be the time i get home today which is kind of a bummer because it's pretty late but um i'd rather just get in than postpone it so yeah i need to take this rack out of my air fryer i don't know why i always have this in here okay taking two hash browns and popping them into my air fryer and i put them in for five minutes and then I flip them and then I do another like five to 10 minutes depending on how crispy I want them. And then I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs because I'm not really in the mood for runny eggs today. I don't know why, so. And then I'm just gonna wait for these cramps to go away and watch New Girl. I'm just making myself some lunch. We got some salmon and veggies in here. And then I'm also going to have a little bit of this rice. This hair is giving trailer trash or something like i don't know what's going on i didn't want to blow dry it so i air dried it outside and it looks like a mane i have to straighten it before i go to my hairdresser so i feel like it would have been easier if i just would have blow dried it because it would have been a lot less because then my hair just like falls straight when i blow dry it i don't know what's going on here i mean it's kind of cute the waves but yeah i can't wait to get rid of all this blonde and tone it to the same color as what's up here um i, ate, I took my lunch outside and I've um, just been hanging out with the pups and here's me and Sam. Hey, no barking. And um, yeah, just uh, scrolling through TikTok. And I think I'm gonna go upstairs and organize and clean my bathroom. I actually have a lot of work to do upstairs. So um, I think that's the goal as soon as I go inside. All right, so I sort of straightened my hair like 10 minutes of straightening, like, or even five minutes probably. I didn't really like section it off and properly straighten it because I'm not a fan of straightening my hair. Um, I wanna get more into like straight hair because that's like pretty much, my, my natural hair is a lot closer to straight than like curly. Um, and it's very, very easy for me to straighten my hair. Like it's very manageable with heat, it doesn't take long. So if I was to do an actual good job, it probably would look pretty good. Um, but I cannot wait guys, look how crazy this, I don't know what I was thinking, thinking it blended. I guess when you, when you curl it, it kind of does. But I'm like, I am not feeling the crazy blonde on here. So we're going to fix that today. But I was organizing my room and just trying to put everything in its place. And I'm so happy I did because I almost forgot to tell you, Teddy Blake, one of my favorite bag designers, is having a Mother's Day sale. I will have all the information linked for you guys in the description box. And the reason why I love this designer brand so much is because you get just as high quality as you go get like a Louis Vuitton or something, but at a fraction of the price. And I want to show you guys my three Teddy Blake bags because any excuse to talk about them, I'm gonna do it. So the first one I ever got was this one. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm so excited. Um, it's this gorgeous red crocodile like handbag and it comes like with a strap like this. But guys, just like look at the inside and everything. Like it's felt, it's gorgeous quality. It has gold like hardware, which is my favorite. This is one of those like it bags, like you're carrying this with your outfit. It's like a head turner. The amount of times that I've worn this bag out and people are like, oh my goodness, where is that from? It is so stunning. I just wish you guys could feel the quality too. Like it's so good. And then the second Teddy Blake bag that I've ever gotten is this one here. And it's like a medium sized bag and it just has a magnetic clasp. 
and then just a pocket. I put the stuffing back in my bags a lot. I actually don't know if I've ever worn this one out. I think I've just used it to style my reels. So, um, but it's good to keep the stuffing keeps the shape of your bag, especially if you have them out and you don't have them laying down in boxes. So I actually like to keep the stuffing for my bags. And, and there's just gold hardware and it's just gorgeous brown color. Like, I just, I can't. These bags are just my favorite. And then my most recent addition to my bag collection is this. I did an unboxing. You guys are probably recognize all these bags, but it's this gorgeous orange handbag. It's so cute. And then it's got these little like clasps that are a little unique. You just rotate them like that and then it like comes out. It's so cute. I love this bag, guys. I am very excited about it. I love orange. So yeah, go check them out and pick up one for yourself because I am really a big fan of designer handbags, but I'm not always a fan of that price tag. So I like to have this as an option and the quality is just as good. All right, so I'm just on my way to my appointment and guys, look at these lashes. I was on TikTok Live and I was like, you know what, let's try on some crazy lashes. And I think I regret it because I think these are too insane. I can touch my eyebrow with them. Um, but I don't know, I don't completely hate them, but I also don't love them. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I did cut them a lot, so maybe I cut them too much and you can kind of see where they start and where they end. Like, I don't know. Um, let me know if you guys think these are too crazy for my eyes or my face, or if you're kind of here for it because people in my live were here for it. Um, so <laughs> anyway, just on my way to my appointment, um, fed the dogs early so they could go to the bathroom. Um, so they didn't have to wait till like 7.30 or 8. Cause I don't know what time Steven's gonna get home. Um, so that way they're fed and they can just sleep in their crates. Um, and it is 4.50 right now and I'm half an hour away. So I'm gonna get there at 5.20. So I've got 10 minutes to spare if I hit traffic. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all that. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to kind of get my hair to what I want it so that we don't have to worry because right now I'm like not feeling good about my hair. So I like the length, but I don't like the fact that the that it's too long for my natural hair. So I can unfortunately not have this length right now unless I want to put extensions everywhere in my head and I don't want to do that right now because it's a lot of like maintenance to have tape-ins over your entire head the sides are totally manageable but back here it's like when you wash your hair if you know you know like tape-ins are not like they're not like easy like washing your hair and drying your hair and styling it and making sure they don't show there's so much that comes into it I mean it's worth it because your hair looks like fuller um but yeah, it's not an easy thing. So I just wanted them in the front to get the fullness that I wanted without having to commit to the length because that's where all the maintenance comes into play. So yeah, I have horrible period cramps. I just took two more Advils because it's been many, many hours since I took the last time, last one. And I should have taken them beforehand. Like I wish I would have set myself a timer. Um, oh my goodness. I love when it's super cloudy outside and you can like, see the cloud the like a plane flying pretty low going through the clouds like i think that's so cool because there's an airport close to like um where we live um so sometimes i see planes just when i'm leaving my house um what was i gonna say i have no idea i lost my train of thought oh i wish i would have taken the advil sooner and before my cramps fully like got to their max capacity because right now it's like oh, I'm trying to take deep breaths because like it's it's really bad in my uterus right now so I'm sure they'll the drugs will kick in by the time I get to my appointment so we'll be good to go all right just on my way home now and it looks so much better now that it's all toned and we slightly cut it um feeling like myself truly it feels good to feel like yourself um and now it is a 720 and Steven is making dinner. I told him I could pick something up. Like I literally told him I'll just pick something up. Like we don't have to make one of the meals today, but he insisted on cooking. So I'm like, okay, it's gonna be a late dinner, um, but that's okay. Um, got another hair product because every single time I go to the hairdresser, if they put something new in my hair that gives me volume, I just am such a sucker for it that I like have to have it. Um, it's toxic because I have so much hair products. I do not need that many. Um, I just need some like five good ones that work not 40 um, <laughs> But that's okay. It was the Amica um, Volume matte spray um, One of these days I gotta link all of these hair products for you guys um, That I love like just my top ones not all 40 of them but um, yeah That's basically I'm just heading home
This is what Steven cooked for dinner. It's this lentil chili bowl, kind of like a taco bowl. Honestly, smells and looks so good. I just got an Amazon packaging. I want to show you guys what I got. So this looks strange, but it's I'm going to use it for um, baby powder because after I self tan, I like to put baby powder wherever my skin gets tacky, like my elbows or my neck. So it's not as annoying. So I wanted a little container for it. And this guys is the cutest thing ever. I was so excited. This is for my AirPods. Like, can we talk about that? That is so cute. And then I got some necklace extenders because my necklaces are always too short for my thick neck. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Um, my voice is kind of raspy. I just woke up where it's just like this. I don't know what happened. Um, and then I obviously have horrible period cramps. I just got to get through this week. I'm sure like by Monday, it's going to be done. <laughs> um, just uh, put on a bunch of skincare. My skin is feeling kind of not so great so i did a bunch of that and then i'm moving some things around in my room i'm going to show you guys after i have it like set up and try to include it in this vlog like where i put my makeup and like steven put up a new clothing rack and i put my full length mirror on this side and like kind of rearranging and making my like film area a multi-functional space like that was my goal from the beginning it's so crazy it's like you think that like it'll be easy to put together a space, but so much of it is like trial and error. Like I had to like buy things and even like lighting equipment and like constantly had to like switch it around until I found something that worked. But honestly, it was like such a like challenge because I constantly figured out that I needed something different. And as you grow in like social media and stuff, you realize that you need different things because you change creatively. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. I don't even know if that made any sense, but and I'm out of breath <clears throat> because I can't really breathe through my nose. Okay, actually I can. I think my voice is just raspy. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to organize some more of my makeup today and try to take it easy because whew, I already took Advil. I'm just waiting for them to kick in. And yeah, I already ate breakfast. Same thing as always. That's how my Friday is going. All right, I didn't really eat a proper lunch. Uh, but I have these oats in my fridge. They're from a freezer, Revive Superfoods. You guys probably remember when I did the unboxing and they're the cherry coconut oats. And I love cherry and coconut. So this is very much a me, you know, kind of breakfast lunch thing. Hmm. There's like no sweetness. Like, I don't like my oatmeal extremely sweet, but I definitely don't like it like this. Hmm. It's okay. But I'm not a big fan of oatmeal, so I'm not really a good judge of that. I'm trying to plan out next week in terms of content. And there's so much. Next week's going to be the craziest week ever for me. Um, because it's the last week we're here before we take our two-week vacation. Or... I don't know if it would be exactly two weeks, but we're not quite sure. And I am hoping that all of my packages will come in and that I can um, film as much content as possible. So that way when I'm away on vacation, you guys still have YouTube videos and fashion try-ons to watch. So I'm really hoping um, that uh, it'll go as planned. If not, it's okay. Like, it's fine to take some time off. Um, I just really want to put it as many YouTube videos as possible while I'm on vacation. So that's still a plan. Sorry, there's saliva. One of my dogs was slobbering on me. Um, but yeah, also I'm trying to just eat up the things that are in the house because I, most people are like that when you leave, you don't want a bunch of your fridge full of stuff just in case like it'll go bad. Um, so I'm just trying to eat what we have instead of going to the grocery store or ordering food. So oatmeal it is and I'm going to try to eat some of this because I know it's good for me. Just sitting outside with the dogs. Harvey's been on my lap the entire time and Winston's been like just running around. Um, Harvey, I don't think he's feeling really good. He threw up, but I think it's just because he ate some grass because that's all he threw up was just grass and like the liquid that's in his stomach. So now he's just being a baby and just wants to sit here. <laughs> so cute. Um, I took the cone off of him because yesterday it was two weeks. Like, I could have taken it off yesterday, but I still don't trust it. Like I feel like he just wants to like lick himself down there and then I'm like worried. But the vet said, I can, as long as I'm watching him, I can totally be taking it off right now. I'm just the one who's trying to be really cautious. But he's been liking not having the cone on. All right, this is today's dinner. This is the recipe right here, the last one. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I got ready to film, but now I'm just sitting outside with my dogs because I just want them to get some exercise and just be outside so they'll be okay with being in their crates. 
because they I hung up with them all morning um, while I was getting ready. So I hope they'll just be fine, chilling. Um, Steven is working probably till like 2 p.m. So I'm hoping they like get my fashion video filmed. Sorry, just burped. By the time he gets home. And then um, him and I have a movie date that we're going on later today. Um, and yeah, this week is just crazy because like we're next, a week from today, we're going to be driving home to our, um, see our family. So we're doing a road trip in a week. So I've got so much going on. Um, so yeah. Gotta get, hey, stop it. Gotta get inside and start filming, getting some work done. And I wanna make myself lunch beforehand. So yeah, that's my Saturday so far. The buddies like the sun. Stop barking, Harvey, it's not nice. Harvey still has his cone on because yesterday we took it off, he licked himself and it got red. So he's gotta wear that for a few more days. All right, I finished filming and that was probably one of the hardest videos I have ever filmed. If you guys are wa like gonna watch it, you're gonna be like, she seems different in this video. It's because I had the scratchiest throat because I still do. It was so hard for me to like speak and not cough because it was so bad. So I struggled, but I powered through. Um, and now I'm gonna make Steven and I a, things over here with his tools, fixing some things. I'm gonna make us um, chocolate mint <clears throat> milkshakes because we need to use up our milk and I think the mint will feel good on my throat so I'm going to make us some milkshakes and um for dinner we're barbecuing all right made us milkshakes show yours I put yours in a fancier glass cheers that's Let's a fancier it. glass is it this is a coffee mug no I feel like that one's fancier oh mm. I love minty things is it good yeah this is our barbecue arrangement, some options. We got some chicken kebabs, corn, three different types of um, sides, some hot dogs, some more corn there. <laughs> Stop being a weirdo. Our date night consists of getting marble slab ice cream, because we love it. I just got cheesecake with brownie, strawberry, and sliced almonds. And what did you get? Cotton candy and bubble gum. With nerds? Mm -hmm. And bubble gum. The nerds get so hard in the ice cream, it feels like you're eating little stones. Literally like rocks. Anyway, we're going to see Doctor Strange multi-universe of madness. Multiverse of Madness Marvel film because I gotta make Steven happy. You have to make me happy? Because Steven wants to see all the Marvel movies. Okay, we're gonna go in there and watch the movie. Happy Sunday, guys. Good morning. We just woke up a bit ago. Steven's looking kind of rough. Look at your hair. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. Mm. I made ourselves some coffee and we have these danishes that Steven bought yesterday. They're like Greek yogurt and cherry or something. Is that what they are? Mm. They go well with coffee. Um, we don't really have much going on today. It's a pretty good, it's gonna be like we get to decide what we do. We don't have any obligations. Actually, we do want to clean my car because we're leaving this week, obviously, so. Next week. No, I'm gonna take, Sunday's the beginning of the week, technically. Sure. So it is this week. But, guys, I don't know how my vlog's gonna work for next week because I'm gonna be traveling, like, on Saturday, I'm already gonna be in the car. So it's like, I don't know if I just vlog Monday to Friday and then just edit it on Friday and then upload it for you guys. Like, I really don't know. Like, my vlogs are probably gonna be a bit, like, I'm still gonna vlog. They just might not be on the upload dates that you guys think. Cause when I'm on, like, on my trip, I definitely wanna vlog, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the time to edit while I'm on vacation. So I might just have to wait till I get back. So. The footage is all gonna go up. I just can't promise like when, so hang in there. I'm not taking a break or anything. I just don't know, because obviously I have to have like a Wi-Fi connection to my computer. 
and my priority is hanging out with my family and friends so I might have to edit when I get back so anyway we're just gonna go chill out this morning Wow, do you guys hear that peace and quiet? No dogs. Steven is outside in the garage doing some stuff. I think he's cleaning my car. And I have some editing and work to do on my computer. And he said he would just watch them outside. There's nobody else in the house. <laughs> I feel like a mom who just needs like that time away from her kids. It's a very similar feeling when you have dogs. I'm out of breath. I was running up the stairs. So, seeing some Twizzlers. She even brought McDonald's home um, for lunch. He went and grabbed some food. So now I'm just getting some work done in peace. Just watching the reunion for Selling Sunset right now, and it is so emotional. Jason keeps crying. And like, I can't because I'm crying and I just wish him and Chriselle could have worked out. So cute. All right, I wanted to show you guys a little bit how the room is coming along. So this is the clothing rack that Steven installed for me. I've got my full length mirror here. I'm still figuring out what I'm doing here, but I have this desk here. So if I want to film any kind of makeup content, I can use natural light and put my tripod behind the desk. So I have to figure out, like, I think I'm going to get some Alex drawers to organize this bunch of my lighting equipment in the corner for now i have this dresser here that i'm not sure where i'm gonna keep it some random storage thing this is kind of my film background that you guys always see my laundry basket videos i have to film these are some donations and that's my closet that's some of steven's stuff he has to take out of here and my bathroom that's kind of my current film studio it has a lot of work to do but i think things are kind of coming into the right place and now i just have to make them I guess, aesthetically pleasing. All right, I'm just sitting in front of my computer right now. I'm gonna edit my vlog. It's about 8 p.m. right now, and Steve and I are just gonna spend the rest of the evening um, just chilling on the couch, hanging out. I just put on self-tanner. Um, I use a self-tanner thing I think I've used once before, and if I like it, I will link it for you guys next week or whenever I reapply it, I guess. Um, but it turns out, like, the one I put on from Coco and Eve, um, it looked really light that day, but it actually was pretty, like, tan throughout the, like, week or whatever i think just like that clip where i had the lighting it was kind of light but um yeah i'm gonna link that one for you guys off to check out because i loved the application and the smell and just really good so yeah that'll be in the description box along with um other links from this video and yeah anyway guys that is it that's all i love you so much and i'll see you in next week's vlog